Hello and welcome to Friday Fly Day. This is going to be my new series where I'm going to be sharing flies and tips and techniques that I use on the river and the sea and that works for me. So please enjoy, follow along, like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. So let's get right into it. Now this is the beauty of a fly that I'm going to be sharing with you today. It's a lovely little rubber-legged stone fly nymph that I use regularly on the river and it's caught a lot of trout for me. So here we go. I am tying it on a size 10 barbless nymph hook. I quite like using pheasant tail for the tail and the body. Next I'm going to be using some good old possum fur. Now this possum fur is from a dead possum that my mate caught in a trap at his house and I just shaved off the hair and gave it a wash in an old sock and then dried it out and I'll use it for dubbing. It's a good tip if you want to do that uh, to get some nice dubbing that you can color as well. For the rib I use a piece of copper wire. This is medium copper wire which I've nearly run out of. I hope this piece is going to be long enough. <laughs> for the rubber leg material I use some rubber leg material from AliExpress. Uh, with some stripes, some tan or, tan or brown with uh, stripes on it. It's a thin rubber leg material. Quite, quite a lot of movement in it. I start with a slotted faceted gold bead on there. Um, I think this is about a 4 mil bead. And then I'm going to use some black 80 thread. And I actually slot that into the slot and then twist the whole bead inside the slot. I twist it all around until I fold the hole up and then the, the bead doesn't move around. Okay, and I just wind down towards the tail and put a bit of thread. Once I've once I got that piece of thread, I'm just gonna snap that excess thread off. Now I'm going to take my piece of copper wire and I'm going to tie my copper wire in. Normally I tie it in along the whole slitter shank, but today I haven't got enough copper wire, so I'm just going to tie it in at the end. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to take some pheasant tail, and I'm going to try and find a long bit, which is often towards the middle, these bits are quite long. I'm trying to find, find about six fibers, and then cut those six fibers off right at the base. Okay, so that gives you six, six fibers like that. So with these pieces of pheasant tail, I'm going to measure them up right against the, the hook shank. So they're about, two th uh, so about a third of the length of the hook shank. I pinch them between my fingers and what I do here is I take a loose wrap, slide it up, a up between my fingers make it a loose loop and then pull it down between my fingers right on the tail that just catches the thread just once there and then I lift the tail up and I do a wrap underneath the tail and one more over and then I go in front of it that just makes the tail sit nice and straight and now I'm just going to wrap around the hook shank I pinch with one finger and I wrap around using the other and I'm going to go as far as I can with this piece of material up the hook shrank. I actually give this quite a small thorax in relation to the body so I'm going to go use all of that up and then I'm just going to wrap behind it a couple of wraps and then wrap it all down. Now I counter wrap with my copper wire. So I get these three or four wraps up to the thorax. And then I'm gonna I loop it around that, wind it up, loop it around, wind it up, loop it around, wind it up, loop it around, wind it up, and that will make that nice and tight. Now what I'm gonna do is take a strand of this lateral scale material. And I'm going to use that as the wing case. So I just 
tie that in on top and back to the copper wire. There we go. Now actually I can just because it's a bit long to work with, I'm just gonna snip that off there. I use this material, all these bits of material up anyway eventually. So that's not a problem for me. Now I'm gonna take my possum dubbing with my fingers, um, pinch some off, and loosely dub that onto the thread. I put it quite loosely onto the thread, and then just start winding that I do it in figure of eight, big figure of eight wraps all, so I build up quite a bit of a thorax. And then, because that's gonna be nice and bushy, I leave that thread hanging in the middle of the thorax, at which point I'm going to be cutting off one strand of my rubber leg material. So I'm gonna use one strand of my rubber leg material. This I now pinch between my fingers and I slide it up underneath the thread, which is hanging on the bobbin, and bring it over. Now you'll see when I do the other side, that will pinch it and I'll pinch it in there and I'll put another wrap over, which will then pinch it in there. I'll snip this end off. And now you'll see this when I do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna lift it up under the thread I leave it just so it touches in there and then I wrap another, another, another tighter round around and then I adjust it like I want it and I snip off the excess. I'm going to trim the length of that in a second. Okay, there's that done. Now I can put one more wrap in between there and then one forward. Go in front of it, make sure those legs are like I want it. Then put the wing case over. that tight down, in front and behind it, and in front of it, and then I just cut it off so it sits a little bit back and up above it. To make the fly quite strong, I'm gonna be using some quick fix gel super glue, and um, the gel just makes it sort of non-drip. Just stick a little bit onto the thread, pull that back, and I wrap that around, and all I do then is just whip finish by hand. A couple of whip finishes and that will lock it in place with the super glue won't come loose. I fold my rubber legs back and these legs I want quite long so I'm going to put them to about halfway of the tail. Trim them all together and there we go. That is the fly done. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment. The most important one is just subscribing because it really helps the channel grow. Um, and it also helps you to see future videos if uh, you're interested in that. So yes, thank you very much and comment below what you think about this fly. See you next time. Cheers.